What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin and I'm currently a data analyst, but I have worked as a business analyst in the past. I'll go into that in a little bit. In today's video, I'll be going over the similarities and differences between the two roles, the role of a business analyst and a data analyst. I'll be going over the responsibilities that you might have in each of these roles. I'll be going over the skill set that you might need to learn in order to land and perform well in each of these roles. I'll be going over the challenges that I faced when I was a business analyst and currently as a data analyst. I'll be going over which role might best fit for you based on your interest and your skill set. And finally, I'll be going over salary ranges that you can expect in an entry level position. While working for my current company, I had the privilege of being both a business analyst as well as a data analyst. I was a part of a rotational program and for one of my rotations, I was a business analyst. So I learned kind of the skills that were required, what responsibilities that I had in order to complete the job, as well as kind of the ins and outs of the day to day. And after I graduated from the rotational program, I decided to pursue being a data analyst where I am currently right now. So let's take a deep dive of the role of the business analyst. I worked as a business analyst for nine months during my first rotation and I learned a lot about asking the right questions, having good communication skills. Essentially, as a business analyst, you're sitting between the business who are coming to you with a problem and your IT team or whatever team that you want. You are responsible of setting up those meetings with the business stakeholder to identify the problem, to gather the correct requirements. And after you are done with those meetings, you come back, regroup and come up with a detailed outline and requirements and therefore present those findings, those requirements with your team so that your team can come up with the project plan to help solve the problem. So that in essence is the role of a business analyst. Two of the biggest challenges that I faced as a business analyst is, I remember when I was just first starting out, um, I didn't really know what I was doing. And I remember my first project, I was supposed to gather requirements, you know, set up the meeting with a business stakeholder. And I remember just setting up too, a little too many meetings because I was able to have clear communication, wasn't able to identify the requirements. So it just took a lot of their time and my time to kind of have the communication down. So my advice to you is to know what the questions that you're asking and having clear communication. The second challenge that I faced was having business stakeholders add on additional requirements that wasn't part of the original scope so in order to solve that problem or solve that challenge is identify the scope right away in your first meeting list down the requirements so that the business stakeholder doesn't add on requirements as the project goes on so those were the challenges that i faced personally as a business analyst. So let's take a deep dive of the role of a data analyst. I've been working as a data analyst for about a year now and I've just been really enjoying learning about the data pipelines, learning how to pull in data using SQL and using data visualization tools. So as a data analyst, my workflow starts with gathering requirements from a business stakeholder who is requesting a report to be done. So that is pretty similar to a business analyst gathering requirements, asking the right questions. And once I kind of list out the requirements, you know, asking what data that they want, what tables that are needed to be pulling in, if they need, you know, specific filters, specific slicers that they need on the report. And, you know, I jot those down. And then my workflow goes into the second step, which is pulling in the data from the data source. So I use SQL in order to, you know, select tables, join tables, and kind of customize the data set that I'll be using in order to build out the report by using um, data visualization tools. So once I build out the data set and kind of having my SQL script, then I go into my data visualization tool, which currently I'm using Power BI. My company uses Power BI to build out the reports. 
put the SQL script in and then I'm able to build out the report by using graphs, KPIs, and whatever the requester is asking for. And finally, the last step is validating the data, which I think is the most important part, is just comparing the numbers that are showing on the report to the source data that you are pulling from. So that might take a little bit of time to kind of accurately compare, but it's a crucial step. Uh, one of the biggest challenges of being a data analyst and it might be because I work for a biotech company. There's just a lot of data that is being housed in those data sources. So it just takes a little bit of time to kind of figure out what tables are being pulled in. Sometimes I don't even know where the data is coming from, what tables that they're talking about. So it just requires me to do a little bit of digging within those um, data sources to figure out, you know, what data is needed to be pulled in, what tables are needed to be pulled in, where is the data coming from? and kind of curating that data set for the report. So let's go over the skill sets that you might need to learn in each of these roles. As a business analyst, you're not gonna be as technical as a data analyst. So the priority is those soft skills such as good communication skills, good presentation skills, and overall just good people skills. It's also really helpful to learn some technical skills as companies do like if you know Excel and also maybe a programming language. As a data analyst, it's important to know those technical skills such as Excel, SQL, and one data visualization tool such as Tableau or Power BI or Click. And it's also good to have good people skills and soft skills as most likely in both of these roles, you'll be working in a team. So which role is right for you? For me, I chose being a data analyst because I really enjoyed the technical aspect of being a data analyst. I love learning Excel, SQL, and kind of flexing that technical muscle in order to analyze data and help the business make better business decisions. So if you're a person that really enjoys the technical side of things and learning technical things such as SQL and analyzing data, then being a data analyst is right for you. So for business analysts, you are analytical, but also not really technical. You enjoy flexing your soft skills, such as communicating skills, you know, gathering requirements and you know, problem solving in that way, then a business analyst is right for you. Either way, both roles are really good starting points for any career. So let's talk about salary expectations for both of these roles. So for both business analyst roles and data analyst roles, you can expect anywhere from 70K to 90K, and that's pretty much based on your level of experience when applying. And when you do get that offer, I definitely recommend doing your research of what the fair market rate is. So you can negotiate your target salary. And that's it. I hope you guys got some insight on the roles of a business analyst as well as a data analyst. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.